Hello everybody, I'm out here to do another video. I am doing it a little different this time because I finally got my 30 millimeter Olympus macro lens. And uh, instead of the telephoto lens with the extension tubes, I'm gonna try this lens. I don't know how it's gonna work because I know the working distance is very close on this lens, but I'm hoping I'll still be able to get some great photos with it. And uh, my son has already, before I even had a chance to start filming, has spotted what look like some beetles, uh, yellow beetles with black stri stripes. Never seen them before. They're actually pretty cool looking. Um, and they seem pretty docile, so I think they'll let me get close enough. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. I also got a new, I had to make a new DIY diffuser because this lens is so much shorter. My other diffuser just didn't come in close enough. I didn't get any light on the subject at all. These guys are actually really cool looking. Huh? Again, if any of you know what this is, please let me know. You know what? I'm also going to try the bracket. So this lens is much more compatible with the bracketing. I can even do the uh, the JPEG setting for the focus stack, which I don't want to do that. I just want to do the bracketing. But it's really cool that I can do that. Now, that other lens, even when I try to do bracketing on it, it, it just didn't. It just didn't quite do what I needed it to do. But we're going to give this a try. This will be my first time trying to, trying to bracket a bug. <laughs> I'm moving around way too much. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Somehow get this to where I'm holding still. <laughs> I might as well not even take 15 shots because I can't hold it still long enough to do that. So I'm going to switch back to the manual mode. Just do this the old fashioned way. All right, let's see. So let me move this and get like a top view of them. No, don't move, don't move, don't move. He's moving on me. All right, I'm gonna leave him be. I'm gonna go ahead and put those photos up now. Let me know what that is if you guys know. We're gonna keep looking for another one. Well, my son's got an eye for this. I got another bug that I have never seen before. And he is uh, he's a little jumpy. Ooh, he jumped just as I started taking photos. Let's see if I got any of them. I got one of them jumping, but it's not very sharp. There's one, his eyes are not in focus. Uh, I'll go ahead and put him up anyway because it's the first time I've photographed this bug, but his eyes are not in focus, so um, I got a photo of him just as he was jumping away too, but I'll, I'll go ahead and put both of them up. They're just not going to be very good photos. All right, he's a couple of moths, but they're pretty flighty. I'm not sure I'm going to get a photo of them. Not very confident in this one, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it a try anyway because I'm so sick of grasshoppers. He keeps turning his head away from me. <laughs> he's a shy guy. Doesn't want his face getting photographed. All right, we actually got a few of him. He kept, as I'm trying to get the photo of him, he just keeps spinning on the flower, trying to keep his face away from me. Talk about camera shy. <laughs> All 
I'm not sure what this guy is, but another one I've never, can't say I've ever seen anything like this one before. All right, well, he wants to be on the bottom, it seems. So I wonder if... Tell you what, Michael, come over here. Bring your hand close to him. And let's see if we can trick him into coming close to me. Put your hand down there. Put your hand down there. You're kind of just... I don't want to scare him too much. Just keep him from crawling down more, okay? And then maybe... Maybe he'll let me get a photo. <laughs> All right, so he's spooking pretty easy. I may have gotten a sharp photo of him. Oh yeah, there's some. It wasn't uh, zoomed into the full length that this um, lens is capable of because he was just getting spooked so easily. But as you can see, teamwork paid off. Leave him, yeah, leave him alone now. Let's leave him be. We've already spooked him enough. All right, so we're gonna look for, see if we can get one more now before we call it a day. All right, I've spotted another one of those beetles, and it's got some uh, water drops on it, which means it really would make for a cool photo if I can get one. Oh, come on, show your face. Don't be shy. Okay, so that's the second. That's just like that other beetle we found. This guy was a little a little less spooked. And I think I got some more more environmental photos of this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those up now because I'm pretty happy with those. Again, it's not the closest zoom this lens can do, but uh, the sun's been coming out, it's warming up, uh, so everything's kind of moving around more. It's, it's definitely not the, oh, here's some ants. Okay, well, I got distracted there by an ant, and uh, I actually got some pretty cool photos of him, and for some reason the camera turned off. I'm not quite sure why. Um, probably a good thing though because the car pulled up blasting some music and that's probably all you guys would have heard um, But I'm gonna go ahead and put a photo of him up now. He was crawling crawling around on top of the grass and just distracted me while I was trying to close the video there and when I looked up the camera was just off. I have no clue why <laughs> But um, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the photos. I'm actually really enjoying this new lens uh, It is a little more difficult because you got to get closer to them. But again, this thing is, it's more than one to one. So I can actually back off a little and still get a good photo. Um, and as long as I come out early enough in the morning, most of these bugs should be uh, docile enough that I can get close to them and get a good photo of them. So please hit that like button. It helps out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel to see future videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.